Hi there, my name is Scott McDonald, and in today's video I'll be doing a one hour challenge in which I attempt to learn a new, terrifying trick in 60 minutes or less. The trick of the day is a pullover full out to my non-dominant twisting side. In other words, I'll be doing a double backflip off of my back with a 360 twist in the second flip in the wrong direction. You'll have to keep watching to see whether or not I succeeded, but either way, I hope you enjoy watching the process. I started by just feeling out a couple back fulls to my right. I've been able to do fulls on my bad side for years, and I always know that I'll make it around safely, but it's never been clean or controlled, and as you can see, because of muscle memory, my arms are actually pulling to the left, not the right. Upon realizing that, I decided to take a few steps back and build up the technique from square one by just doing half twists from my feet to my stomach. I focused on staying tight, trying not to rush the takeoff, and landing square instead of going crooked. Even though this is such a simple movement, it still felt really foreign and weird to twist to the right instead of the left. The next step was to flip it over to my back, and that felt really inefficient compared to my dominant side. I felt like I was stuck in midair and had to flip by dropping my chest instead of driving my lower body up and over like I normally would. Even though it felt a little janky and crooked, I continued into a right twisting Barani ball out to simulate the rest of the full. Now even though these takeoffs were kind of bad, I wasn't too concerned about this because when you do a full out, you're not twisting off your feet. You've already done a backflip and you're initiating the twist in midair. To simulate that feeling, I broke down a right twisting cruise by doing stomach drop, quarter twist to feet, and then quarter twist to stomach, then put all the pieces together and this already felt way better than taking off for my feet. After doing a couple more, I added a back three quarter into it to get more power and ducked it over to my back, which also felt way better than doing the same from my feet. Now that I had broken it down into all these drills, I revisited my right twisting back full to see if there was any improvement, and I was really happy to find that while it was still far from perfect, it felt way more natural, so I felt ready to move on to the next step. I began simulating a pullover setup with a quarter twist to the right, and that felt really spooky and unnatural, but when I committed to doing a pullover to cruise, it just clicked and felt right. With about half an hour left on the clock, I ducked it over to my back. Now if you've never done one, you might be imagining that a back full out feels like a back flip, and then after you do the back flip, you wrap your arms really hard and do a back full. Thankfully, it doesn't feel like that at all. You do an open backflip, and as your feet are scooping beneath you at the end of it, you watch the ground by doing a cruise motion, then finish by continuing to stare at the floor and do a Barani. You can see where you're going basically from the moment you take off till the moment you land. Now at this point, I had half an hour left in the challenge, but I already had the backflip and the cruise, so all I needed to do to succeed was keep staring at the trampoline and do a Barani. To make that as physically easy as possible, I just tried to add more height and power into my takeoff. Ironically, that backfired completely, as I messed up my timing and got trapped facing sideways instead of finishing the half twist and squaring up the crew's duck over. Just like in math, there's a really specific order of operations to tricks, and if you rush or panic, you're going to throw off the entire rest of the equation. That said, unlike most math, messing up the rest of the equation can also mess up your lifespan. So to avoid an early grave, I once again took a step back and just practiced pullover cruise duckovers again, but this time, I tried to keep looking over my right shoulder as I landed on my back. Doing this made it feel like I had twisted further without actually having to do anything, and that made the trick seem way more approachable, so on the next turn, I turned a little bit further and landed on my side. This isn't exactly a pleasant way to land, but it got me over my initial fear, so I did another one with the intention of landing on my stomach, and to my great relief, that went pretty well. On my dominant side, I find full out to stomach way scarier and more technically challenging than going to my feet, so doing this made me think the finish line was right around the corner. I once again added some power to my takeoff, and messed it up. Repeatedly. This was frustrating, but it was a good check for my ego, so I tried another drill that I had avoided. Cruise duck over, Barani defeat. In other words, a Cody full. I had never done this to the right before, but it was a major step in the right direction, and also kind of a nice little side quest bonus trick. I had almost spent the entire hour already on drills, overcooked attempts, and a handful of successful full outs to my stomach. Since I only had a couple minutes left, I decided to put all the pieces together, turn off my fear and try again, and it was super easy. Too easy. 
I felt confused and suspicious, so I watched the video back and I realized that this was not a full out at all. I did a quarter twist to the right, then an unquarter back to the left. Normally I'd be really happy about that, but in this case I only had time for one last attempt, so I really focused on twisting the right direction and wound up going to my hands and knees. While I had failed the challenge, I was still really happy and satisfied with all the ones I had done to stomach, so I decided I would come back to the gym the next day and pick up where I had left off. To me, the second session felt like a new game plus. I had already done all the drills and progressions, I knew that I could do the trick to my stomach or my hands and knees, but I got to start over without already being exhausted. To keep things safe, I began by just reviewing pullover cruise duck over both to the right but also the left so I could compare the feeling and timing and see if there was anything off. Fortunately, it was all good, so I once again added some power, went for the trick in the hopes that I would just nail it on my first try, and just like the previous day, I got stuck sideways and did a quarter on quarter to my feet. This was a really big wake up call for me. It made me realize that the more aggressively I took off, the worse my attempts became. I had been trying to get through this trick with sheer brute force, but it clearly hadn't been working. I didn't want to waste time just repeating the same mistake, so instead, I tried a different approach. It seemed like the main issue was I would see the trampoline when I was sideways and think I was continuing to twist, but instead just keep flipping. So I took a few minutes to really focus on squaring up my cruise duck over. When everything felt reliable again, I did everything the same, then as I lost sight of the bed and ducked over, I added a last minute twist, and that actually worked out really well. I kept trying, and eventually I was able to just barely make it to my hands and knees. While this was scary, it was also reassuring, so I did it again with a little more conviction, and this time the landing felt pretty good. After doing one more, it felt like this was consistent and the trick was right around the corner. I figured if I could get to my hands and knees, I could also get to my feet without really having to change anything. So I took a moment to visualize what it would feel like and what I would see, got ready to go, and... It finally worked. It wasn't pretty, but I was elated to finally land this trick. I decided to do one more and see if I could clean it up, and even though my arm still refused to cooperate, it did feel better. Now, having done all that, I figured I would finish up by doing one final pullover full out to my left just to see how it felt to go to my dominant side again. And no surprises, it was way easier. So there you have it. This was a really difficult one, and while I may have failed the one hour part of the one hour challenge, I'm really glad that I got the trick done regardless. These challenges are always scary to go through, but I believe in pushing yourself and trying to constantly learn, and I hope it's entertaining for you to watch as an audience. So if you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any requests for future videos, just leave me a comment below. And until next time, good luck, and happy training.